Hello everyone, it's Kazu and I want to show you a multi-item sorting system that in my opinion is the best one for a survival world. The system features 16 bulk storage slices with accessible filling shulker box and sh full shulker box display. It has also 48 normal multi-item sorting storage slices and the uh, cool thing in the system is that the filter chest for every slice is accessible right there and for the bulk storage slices also right there it is also fully contained in the 3 by 3 chunk area so there is a chunk loader and it's chunk loaded only if the system is active the system is also really really fast it can handle up to 100,000 items per second, however, we are limited by the single hopper speed at every slice. So this system is great for uh, sorting items in parallel um, and it will slow down quite dramatically if you use it only for a few uh, types of items or a few categories. I designed this system with a lot of help from Kirafi that helped out with the minecart mechanics. So we will now do a demonstration. I have a few shulker box here. So this one, for example, is very good for this system because it's all parallel sorting. Every item is in a different category. Uh, and this one would be, well, limited by the single hopper speed. So it will take quite some time to sort all of these. And yeah, so we will see if everything goes in the correct category of all of the items here i put them in the input and uh, now we will go through the different parts of uh, the system so starting at the input uh, so first the shulker boxes are displayed uh, right here and are unloaded at 16 hopper speed uh, so there are two minecart hoppers underneath that makes it 16 hopper speed um, then every once in a while the items are displayed on this uh, trapdoor and there is another loop of minecarts that takes uh, one stack at a time so basically the content of the minecart is always uh, with four blocker items and uh, well a stack of items it can be from 1 to 64 of a certain item for the whitelisters here to work the minecart need to be able to absorb one item so this means that if we have a full stack or for example an unstackable item we need to filter them out so this is what this system does uh, so if we have 64 items from one stack for example it will take out just one item and if we have an unstackable it will take out the unstackable and send it to the unstackable uh, storage and uh, the one item from the 64 or 16 stackable is just put back uh, into the shulker box uh, yeah maybe we'll see yeah here just through the hopper to into the shulker box. So the minecart hoppers then make their way underneath these uh, whitelisters that are accessible from top here. And if they correspond to the right category, they will be they will go through the slice and all the way up there. And here is a safety mechanism that uh, ensures that no item are lost while by despawning because basically the problem is uh, if you send too many main cards in this uh, minecart breaking me mechanism you will have a lot of items well this hopper will be full and you will have a lot of items in item form here that can despawn after a while because this system is way faster than the individual slices and so the solution to this, as you can see it there, is that the minecart is actually stored until the hopper here is empty. And uh, if it's empty, then it sends a new minecart and you can have like a stock of minecarts like here. Here we see we have a lot of minecarts accumulating. 
and uh, whenever the here, here the hopper seems to be free and then the uh, one minecart is sent and the rest is uh, waiting so this is the gold slice uh, there's always an indicator that that says that the slice is active and here we can see the uh, shocker is loading itself the last slice is just uh, no category slice so if things are not uh, stored uh, or not filtered in in the system then they end up here the unstackable items uh, and also the overflow if any slice is is full uh, it ends up uh, here in well first in this chest and then it fills up all this wall uh, so here we can see we have only unstackable items and uh, this row of uh, array of chest is just non-functional but i think it's always useful to have uh, manual sorting uh, if we want to organize or maybe do a project or something so this you can do whatever you want also uh, you could add a single item sorting system uh, like the one from kigo lee um, i didn't but feel free to do so so as you can see right now we have this gold slice that is slowly unloading itself uh, into the slice um, but we have no other minecarts that are sent the system is paused even if we still have items to unload as you can see here so why is that um, basically i added a system that so a clock here that counts two minutes while the items uh, while the minecart uppers are stocked in the slices and while the slices are not all, all empty um, it stops the system until until all the items are drained all the minecarts are drained ah now it, just the last uh, minecart went down so we probably see the system restart in a moment okay yeah now the hopper is empty and now the system restarts so new items are uh, displayed here and they will be stocked again in the gold slice uh, I added this to try to reduce lag uh, because if you have like I don't know two to two hundred uh, hoppers in stacked in one spot it may not be a good idea um, so yeah it's it's not mandatory you can ignore it if you know you won't use it for uh, to unload like multiple shulkers of the same item then this is basically not necessary uh, but if you are worried about uh, non not crushing a server maybe this could be a good idea uh, also the timing is is flexible you can so this is basically a binary counter uh, you you can double the time easily by just adding a new piston here for example uh, while we are here i maybe talk about this uh, signal right there so this is basically a a giant pulse extender that uh, activates the uh, trunk loader and uh, this is only active if the system is sorting and then it shuts down um apropos trunk loader i just noticed that it wasn't working correctly and that is because i had this portal active uh, on top of it um so basically uh, it's important to link the portals correctly together so if you want to have a portal here then you maybe have to put this uh, portal way down and make sure that the uh, like the, um, the heights of the portal in the nether dimension is the same uh, in, as in the other world and here you can see it doesn't make any sound anymore because the system is well done it's off also this lamp indicates that the system is off and uh, while well, it's still unloading this buffer chest but this is not a problem so we can check now if all the items went in the right category so basically i have uh, these two shockers are 32 items in every slice uh yeah okay let's start with this one so we have 32 diamonds and one netherite i got that comes from there 
Uh, we have 32 calls. Fuck. There's 32 iron nuggets, 32 gold nuggets, 30 to nether star one beacon that comes from there and i won't go through all the chests but basically you can believe me uh everything got in the right category i want just to show you the gold slice maybe i'll fill it up so it should it should break at some point yeah you just break broke and here we have the full shulker box and if we need it well we need to activate the first uh, display so we just act, uh, well use this button and then uh, we have this shulker box but uh, if we have one shulker box or more oh sorry in the in the dispenser here and we empty this shulker box uh, then the next one will be displayed automatically and yeah, the shocker box are sent to the shocker box storage. So just again here, like this. So it's therefore important that the, you alternate between slime and honey blocks. Uh, so the slices are not, uh, well, they are one white tileable, but uh, AB tileable. Uh, concerning the shulker box uh, storage, we have here an active storage. So basically, um, this indicates how full it is. So the last chest is empty. And you should never have it totally full because there will be empty shulker boxes that will be sent to the storage and they could despawn. Well, it's not a big deal, but uh, anyways. And you shouldn't have it uh, totally empty because, uh, well, this relies on empty on an arrival of new empty shulker boxes and well yes and this this system also uh, needs uh, empty shulker box so if you have uh, normal items uh, just like this you can send them in the system through through this oops uh, be just careful that well I, I didn't really put a lot of effort in the system so I noticed that uh, sometimes when you break the Okay, box uh, it ends up uh, on the floor and not in the up in the hopper. So yeah, just so you know it. Oh, very important thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, this system right here. So this uh, two hopper unloader, if you want, a uh, two minecart hopper unloader, is um, directional. So you can build it only in direction facing east or facing west, but uh, not facing north or south. So yeah, if you're wondering why it doesn't work, maybe check this. Uh, the rest should be okay. And finally, I want to talk about some flows of this system. So the first one is, well, this solution right here, where we activate every slice one after the other to send uh, the minecarts. Uh, so basically it's this uh, observer chain here. Um, it's the fix I found for my problem, but basically I tried so many different slices. Uh, the ideal would be to have one slice that um, is independent from the others, so that doesn't rely on the uh, outside signal that comes every once in a while. And I tried a lot of different designs and there was always something that didn't work out. So finally I did this, but maybe some of you might find a better solution for this. So I'm all ears. And uh, the other thing is um, the, this clock here that sends the minecart. So this is basically what uh, dictates the speed of the system. Um, theoretically, it should work at uh, one minecart every 20 ticks. So every, no, every 40 ticks, sorry. So every two seconds. Um, but for some reason, I can't really explain. At this point of the system, there are some unreliabilities. And um, yeah, the I think this hopper doesn't have enough time to absorb the two hoppers, um, those two blocker items it should. And 
yeah, I didn't spend so much time finding a solution for it, so I just uh, increased the time from 20 ticks to 24, uh, so from, sorry, from uh, 40 ticks to 48 ticks. And yeah, basically everything is a bit slower, but uh, it's still very fast. Um, if anyone has any ideas how or why it does this, I'm really interested. Um, otherwise, yeah, this should work at this. I didn't spend so much time on the decoration, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, the map is in the description, schematics also. So hope it will help. So I went quite far through the presentation there, but uh, if you are interested in a more detailed explanation or maybe also tips on how to build it, uh, let me know in the comments and 